Court records show that Norwalk police first learned of Brandon Wagshaw's obsession with firearms and mass shootings back in 2008 when he was just 11 years old. A student overheard him muttering to himself that he was going to make Virginia Tech look like nothing. More than 10 years later, a tip from Wagshaw's aunt to the FBI's National Threats Operations Center led police to his doorstep with a search and seizure warrant. Um, as a result of that search warrant being executed, uh, the four magazines or the high capacity magazines, which are illegal in the state of Connecticut, were located. Wagshaw has since admitted he bought the ammunition magazines in New Hampshire, which are illegal in Connecticut because they carry more than 10 rounds of ammunition. According to court records, before this incident, Wagshaw was arrested for a breach of peace in 2018. In 2010, Norwalk police investigated a threatening Facebook profile later identified as Wagshaw. The personal information section said he was planning mass murder and that he was genocidal. Wagshaw's most recent posts to his Facebook also led police to determine there was an imminent threat to society in this situation. So is it, is it alarming this kind of incident? I think it, this kind of uh, the potential of what could have happened um, from an incident like this is certainly alarming. However, Wagshaw's lawyer says a post to Facebook doesn't necessarily mean Wagshaw intended on committing a mass shooting. Brandon and I sat down and went over all the documents, all the alleged posts, and he was very clear as to what they were and what they meant. So I'm more confident now than I was before. Wagshaw is currently out on $250,000 bond, but he's under strict guidelines imposed by the court. In Stamford, Taylor DiCello, Fox 61 News.